Today I'm talking about HD0 and in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of how to recover your goggles module or Scout HDs after having a bad flash. A bad flash may result from either installing the wrong firmware or powering down the goggles before the firmware update has finished. I have actually done a separate video walking you through the process of updating not only the goggles but also the VTX and if you've never done this process before I would strongly suggest checking that out before watching this video. In this one we're going to concentrate though on the recovery process that is specific for the receiver modules should something have gone wrong in the update. If you've installed the wrong firmware on your VTX, you should hopefully be able to reflash that with the correct firmware and get yourself up and running. However, there is a slightly different process for the receiver that I'm going to walk you through today. Just before we get on with that though, I just want to say if you do find this video interesting, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links to the HD0 system as well as Patreon and buy me a coffee too. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's talk about what you actually need to do. Okay, so the process for recovering after a bad firmware update is fairly straightforward and it's very similar to the original firmware update but just with a couple of extra steps. There is a recovery mode on these receivers that you need to switch them into before actually performing the recovery. You have to allow the recovery to go through and then at the end perform some steps before turning it off. There is a hidden switch located on the back of the VRX module or the top of the Scout HDs and this allows you to actually put it into recovery mode to actually get the system back up and running again. On the Scout HDs the normal mode of operation is with the switch at the back and recovery mode at the front and on the goggles module the recovery mode is with the switch down a normal operation with the switch up. On the Scouts, it's located just under this little hole area here and there's also a little LED in there as well that you'll need to keep an eye on as the recovery is happening. And on the back of these modules, there's a little area at the back there, again, with a little red LED next to it and that is your indication of what is actually going on. To be able to recover, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the correct firmware installed. If you, like me, have made a mistake and installed the VRX firmware onto the Scout HDs, don't worry, you can recover. Before that though, make sure you have an SD card that is correctly formatted and you need to make sure that it's formatted in the simple FAT format and not anything like XFAT. Normally at this point I'd recommend you format the card actually in your module, that way it would actually be in the correct format ready to go. However, if you have bricked it, it's probably not going to let you do that. If you've already got a card that is formatted, simply use that. However, make sure your format is not XFAT, not anything else and is basic format as you would find on most things and that should be read by the system no problems at all. As I mentioned several times in my firmware video the most important thing first of all is making sure you have the correct firmware for your device. I suggest you go to the HD0 website because this is the best place to get the latest firmware for your goggles or your module based on HD0 and they list all of the firmware versions here available to download. Today we're going to do the recovery on the RX 5.1 which is the current standard goggles module so the first thing we need to do is make sure that we do download the correct firmware. As I've said there is a different firmware for the Scout HDs and it is easy to get these mixed up and I did end up doing this myself one point when I wasn't paying enough attention. So what we're going to do is download the RX 5.1 firmware. I'm going to simply extract these files directly to my SD card, making sure that once they're extracted, the correct files are actually on the card. So if we go over to here, you can see we have the movie and photo files which go on as standard, and then we have the HD0 RX, VA, and all of the files. Again, you need to make sure you have not put the zipped file onto the card and it is simply these firmware files directly and if you're having problems with this I would always advise trying to format the card in your device first before doing it making sure that you do have the correct format on your card if you have bricked your goggles module you're obviously not going to be able to format your card in it so make sure you format your card as fat 
and not X fat because that could give you problems. The next thing you need to do is place the SD card in the goggles, but at this point, do not power them on. What we then need to do is put the switch into the recovery position. Now, this is actually shown in the HD manual. However, it isn't shown for the Scouts. On the module, if you open them up, you can see that there is actually a small switch hidden in here under the grill in the middle of the three. In the standard position, the switch is at the top and in the recovery position, the switch is in the bottom. So you need to gently pop the switch to the bottom, making sure that it is all the way down before turning the goggles on. If you're using the Scout HDs from Fat Shark, this little switch is located in this little slot here. You may need a set of tweezers to actually move it. And what you need to do is put the switch into the forward position for recovery and the normal position is at the back. So at the moment, the switch is in the back position and I would then simply slide it forward into the recovery point. Once that is done and you have the switch in the correct position, again, forward on the Scout HDs towards the front or down towards the bottom on the goggles module, you can then power it up and let the update process begin. When we have powered on, you will see this little LED here turn on and that will tell you that the process has begun. Something to note is you may find this LED goes off for a couple of seconds and then comes back on. That is normal. It can happen after about 20 seconds and that is simply part of the recovery process. At this point, you do nothing until that LED goes back off again and remains off. Do not rush. This process can take up to 20 minutes. And whilst it usually takes sort of five to 10, do not rush until you know that it has finished. If you find that LED doesn't go off after 20 minutes, the chances are something hasn't gone correctly. And I would suggest turning them off, starting the process again. The most important thing to check at that point is whether it's deleted the files from the SD card, because that will be a hint to tell you if the update has completed. It is possible that the format of your SD card isn't what the goggles likes. And if that is the case, I would suggest going away, reformatting it and starting it again. At this point, we now simply have to wait, let that LED go off. And then before you do anything else, you need to turn that switch back to the top position. So the LED on my module has just gone off. So before we power down, we need to return this switch to its original position. So what I'm going to simply do is go in, slide the switch back up, making sure that it is pointed again at the top. And as I've already said on the Scout HDs towards the face mask, and now I am able to power the module down. And now it should have flash the correct firmware onto the module and it should be all working correctly. I've removed the SD card and now placed it in the PC. And as you can see that all that's left is the RTK and IPL, the HD0, the HD0 RX and VA, the sharkbite.bin have all been removed. And this tells me that the update has completed. If I now power the module back up as normal with the SD card removed, and I'm going to use the external HDMI and actually turn on the camera, you can see that it's rebooted, it's correctly booted, and I've got the system up and running as we would expect it to be. And that is the recovery process. Basically, you simply make sure you have the correct firmware before attempting to update, put that recovery switch into that position. So down on the module or forward on the scouts, let the process complete watching that red LED making sure that you do not do anything until that LED goes off and stays off. It will flash off as part of the process for a few seconds, but wait until it takes place and it's off fully. Can be 10 to 20 minutes. When it has gone off, making sure you return that switch to the correct position before powering down. If you find that red LED never goes off and you've left it 25 minutes, it's most likely an issue with 
the format on the SD card and I would then either try another SD card or format it manually in FAT. In my tests, it doesn't work with XFAT, so you do need to make sure that you get it right as well. But if you have flashed the wrong firmware, that should get you back up and running. As I've mentioned with regards to the VTX side of things, my understanding is it should recover with another flash attempt if it's a problem. If it doesn't, I would suggest reaching out to HD0 because they are really fast on the communication. They have a dedicated Discord server as well, so don't be afraid to come on there, say hello, and someone will try to help you out. That is it from me. Please do consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. As I said at the start, if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description. Please do check them out. Also, if you've got any questions, please do consider popping over to my own Discord server and I will put a link to that as well as the HD01 in the description of this video as well.